Good morning, Mount Zion. Good to be back with you as we're studying some more in Ephesians 4. And today we're going to look at old self, new self as our topic. <laughs> yeah, which one are we, Matt? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Uh, verse 22 of chapter 4 says, You were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self, which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires, to be made new in the attitude of your minds and to put on the new self created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. So it implies that a change has to take place in our lives. Um, you know, Jesus, uh, one of my favorite lines from Jesus, when they bring the children to him, he says to his disciples, unless you're converted and become like the little children. Mm -hmm. uh, so there was a change. And then in the text, in verse 28, it says, anyone who has been stealing must steal no longer, but must work doing something useful with their own hands that they may have something to share with those in need. So the whole thing, the whole book of Rome, or Ephesians shows a change. It, it, people were in darkness. They weren't part of the family. You know, they are part of the family. They, they were stealing, now don't steal. Does anybody see the new self? That's that's my big challenge for people today. Yeah, I think this kind of also echoes off of uh, Paul talking about his transformation. Oh, wow, and, yes. Uh, <laughs> that we talked about uh, a week ago or so. Um, and That he was the chief of sinners? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and now he's an apostle. <laughs> a big, yeah, a big argument, you know. No, I sin more than you. No, I was the chief. You yeah. know, well, there it is, yeah. So when we look at this concept of holiness, a lot of people think it's something that we need to almost do in our own power and, and grapple towards. We, we hear in the Old Testament, um, God saying to Israel, be holy for I am holy. And Peter repeats that as well mm -hmm. in the New Testament. But a lot of scholars think that almost a better translation of that, um, based on the grammar there, is you are holy because I am holy. Very good. So it's yes. like we talk about the the body of Christ has been all through this in unity here in Ephesians. And since we're part of the body of Christ, because um, Christ is holy, there's no dispute about that. And we're part of him. So we are holy. There's still an already not yet part. We're still being transformed and renewed day by day. So there's a process. And like you said, do people notice it? That that's happening in your life. Exactly. Yeah. The, it's the whole born again thing, you know, we, but we have to be changing. Mm -hmm. If we were thieves, we can't be thieves anymore. If we're, uh, you know, uh, the talk is a big thing. Yeah, we talked I, about that yesterday. In my life, I mean, my, my language, everything began to change and uh, people notice it. So do people notice we're becoming like Jesus? And then when you think of Jesus being the head, that's the command center. Yep. It, it's where do we get our signals from? So uh, we'll become like Jesus. I, I mean, I'm uh, right now I'm in the middle of writing down points for chapter five and, and uh, we have to be there. like Jesus, you mm -hmm. know, we have to treat people like Jesus treated people. And that's the new self especially in my life, it's not the old man. My old man tries to rear up and I, I have to, in Jesus name, put him down. Cause that's not how my command center is signaling the body. Mm -hmm. So there it is. Yeah. Romans chapter 12, one, one and two, <laughs> to be a living sacrifice. We have to put our, ourselves on the altar and die to ourselves every day. And that will bring about the renewing of our mind. Amen. One of the, one, I can't remember which preacher said it, but he said the trouble with a living sacrifice is it keeps crawling off the altar. <laughs> that was <a> <laughs> <laughs> Don't crawl off. Stay there. No, Let stay, God stay dead that. to yourself. <laughs> Amen. Okay. All right. Very All right. well, well, thanks for joining us today, guys. Um, be safe. God bless you. And we will see you tomorrow for uh, some more of Ephesians 4. Bye. Amen.